Hello, hello, GX community. This is GX Bob coming to you guys for another DIY special. Uh, but right before we even begin, I just want to reach out there and say thank you to Ethan Sakagawa from Hawaii. He bought a set of Alpha Rex headlights and he sent me all the way from Hawaii a pair of his old headlights for the GX460. So again, thank you, Ethan Sakagawa. Your generosity is unsurpassed. Thank you. So let's go ahead and get started. This video is going to be about your shark fin antenna that is sticking up outside right in front of your tailgate all the way in the back. Uh, a few of you guys asked for the, the remove and the replace of your antenna. If you go pick up another antenna from the Lexus dealer, how do you remove the old one and install a brand new one? So why is this happening? Well, some of you guys... Um, put on a two inch lift and you guys are going to your garage and you're forgetting a two inch lift and you have a shark fin antenna that's going to scrape the, the the top of your garage or something and you're just pulling that thing off a lot of you guys are going into uh, parking structures that are pretty low profile and you guys are scraping your shark fin antenna back there so this video is going to be about replacing that shark fin antenna let's go ahead and open up the box these are the only type of tools you're going to be needing you're going to use some alcohol to clean off the rooftop whenever you do the brand new shark fin installation because you're going to get a lot of crust when you remove the old shark fin. Okay, you're going to need a thin Harbor Freight plastic tool trim tool. You're going to need a 10 millimeter gear wrench going in both directions for lock and unlock, loosen, tighten. You're going to need one of these tools to pop these panel buttons and you're going to probably need a block to help you out. This is to help give you clearance between the headliner and the rooftop. Um, if you don't care for it and you can do everything blindly without needing any type of visual while you're working, um, while removing the, the screws on the shark fin, then so be it. You don't really need this. But I like to use something like this just so I can open up the headliner and the rooftop to show my camera inside. It also kind of helps so you don't your, your arm doesn't get all scratched up and everything by keeping the headliner and the rooftop apart from each other. Okay, so it's just a helper. Set your tools down here and go ahead and sit up on your car and let's go ahead and take a look at your third row dome light. While looking out the back of your tailgate, you're gonna look up at your dome light just like this. You're gonna grab your scraper tool your thin one and you're going to put it inside the creases right here the ones that are to pointing towards the driver's side right here between the plastic and the frame pop it out pop it out now this tab right here we're going to take this tab and we're going to push it towards inboard we're going to go to this side, this tab right here, we're going to push it inboard. Once we push those, both of them inboard, we're going to go ahead and grab our scraper again, and we're going to pry. We're going to leave our dome light hanging. We're not going to disconnect it. We're going to grab a hold of our weather seal right here, and we're going to pull on it. Be careful not to put it back because there's a lot of black tar on the back of this weather seal. You don't want to get this on your skin or on the felt or on the carpet or anything. Try to pull all the way down. No need to take the entire weather seal out. All you have to do is just pull on enough where it has enough support to just lay on your cargo area. Now there's gonna be two clips right here, a plastic clip here and a plastic clip here that's holding your headliner onto the roof of your vehicle. We're gonna work on the left clip first. Grab your trim removal tool. You're gonna look, you're gonna open up this headliner and look for that clip. There it is, white clip right here and you're going to pry it off. Now you're going to go to the other side and do the same thing. Okay. 
you're going to take a piece of one by four or anything that you can find in your garage. You're going to take this and you're going to shove it between the headliner and your roof, right where this white bracket is. The reason why I'm only using one piece of block is only because I am sticking my arms right inside of this hole right here. This is the only one hole that we're going to be using to access our shark fin screw. Now if you follow me into that little hole, you're going to totally see the shark fin. Do you see it? This is the 10 millimeter screw right here. You're going to grab your gear wrench, make sure it's in the loose position. You're going to take it, put it in your left hand. You're going to stick it inside this hole and you're going to do this blindly. You're going to look for that 10 millimeter. Once you're able to loosen the nut, you can go ahead and do the rest by hand. It comes out fairly loose. You're going to take your bolt and the bracket along with it. Do not let it drop into your headliner. While you're dislodging the plug, you're going to want to pull your shark fin up. Let me grab that brown plug out for you guys and demonstrate it on the outside so you guys can understand how to dislodge this. You're going to push on this tab right here. Push on it and while you're pushing on it to the passenger side, hold on to the plug while you grab your right hand and you jiggle your shark fin you jiggle your shark fin out of the plug. Since everything was done blindly, I am going to show you what I'm actually doing within the headliner. Here's your shark fin. Here's the bracket that is between your roof and the shark fin. Here's the 10 millimeters. I'm sticking my left hand between the headliner and the roof. I am going to put this in the loosened position of my gear wrench. I'm sticking in there. I'm looking for this 10 millimeter. Once I find it, I am going to loosen it. Once I loosen it, where I know that I can loosen the rest by hand, I'm gonna take the gear wrench out. I'm gonna put my fingers back in and I'm going to loosen up this 10 millimeter by hand. But while I'm doing this, I'm holding on to this bracket because I don't want this to be falling into my headliner. Okay, there you go. After I loosen the rest of this 10 millimeter, I'm going to grab the bracket that came with it and hold it into my left hand. Once I got this portion out, I can take this out of the headliner. The shark fin is still attached to the brown plug, okay? Let me show you what this adapter looks like with the 10 millimeter in there. If you take a look at this, this adapter bracket has three prongs to it. There are three silver prongs. There is no prong that is facing the driver. There is only one prong that faces the tailgate and one towards the driver and one towards the passenger. Just like this. So when you put this shark fin back into the vehicle, you have to remember the orientation to put this bracket back in. Okay? It's got to go with the three prongs with one facing the tailgate, one facing the driver, and one facing the passenger. Nothing is in the front. goes back in just like that. Okay, let me show you what it looks like without the bolt. 
This is what's holding your entire shark fin to the roof of the car. This bracket right here. All of this right here is a rubber seal. If you guys decide to replace this with a brand new dealership one, you wouldn't have to worry about anything because the rubber seals are brand new. But if you're getting a used one off another vehicle, I recommend you putting a, at least a bead of silicone right around here before you do the installation and make sure you clean the roof of your vehicle really clean with alcohol. It's very important to learn the orientation of that brown plug before you do the installation because when you install that brown plug, you're going to be doing it blindly, okay? So let's go ahead and do it one more time just so you guys remember. When you put the brown plug in, remember the pointy side of this brown plug is going to be facing the driver's side. So it's going to go like this. And all it does is snap right in. To take it out, you're going to have to push on that tab towards the passenger side and just wiggle until the brown plug comes back out. Okay, so remember the orientation, long side facing towards the driver, the cable, the wiring is on the passenger side. So let's go ahead and stick this back in there and get it ready for the installation. Before installing, make sure you clean the area really good. I'm using alcohol. Let's go ahead and take our shark fin and let's place it right there. Next, we're going to take our bracket. We're going to take this silver part right here and we're going to face it towards us. Hold it facing towards us, just like that. It's got to face towards the tailgate when we install this. We're going to take the bolt and we're going to go ahead and preset it inside this hole. And we're going to hold it in our left hand, just like this. Now we're going to bring the whole entire assembly with us in this orientation. Take it with our left hand, guide our left hand in here. While we're guiding our left hand in here, we are looking for the hole for the 10 millimeter. We're doing this all blindly. You can actually lift the shark fin just so you can see your fingers and where its location is. So you could take a look at where that 10 millimeter is and you can go ahead and place it where it needs to be long in the shark fin right there. Make sure you're pushing that bracket against the rooftop so while you're screwing the 10 millimeter, that bracket is seating properly underneath the roof. Once you screwed it on nice and snug, you're going to go ahead and grab your gear wrench. Before you even put the gear wrench in there, make sure it's in the tightening position. You go ahead, stick it in here. Now you are going to do it blindly. There it is, installed. Now we are going to attach the brown plug. Now here's the plug installation. Cable is on the passenger side. Pointy side is on the driver's side. Snaps into place. We're good to go. Now let's go ahead and take out our block. We're going to go ahead and plug those back in, just like that. Only reason why I'm punching is because my hands are dirty from all that black tar. Check this out. That's the black tar I'm talking about. It's all over the seals. So just be careful, guys. Now carefully, we are going to put our weather seal back on here. Be really careful of this tar material here. It's hard to get off of your clothes and skin even after a good shower. Now that we're finished, we're just going to go ahead and snap this back into place. The buttons are going to go towards the driver. 
just plugs right in you're gonna get the lens right here the hole is gonna face towards the driver we are going to take the end pieces right here towards the tailgate and slide them in first into these slots then we're gonna snap the front into place so there you guys have it shark fin antenna remove and install total time if I didn't have to film this would would have been about less than 30 minutes it was really really super simple a 10 millimeter um, a lot of blind installations um, if you guys are afraid your headliner is not that flexible it is very 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 flimsy and flexible you could bend that all the way down and it'll just pop back into shape so don't be afraid of it um, creating weird creases that won't go away because that's not going to happen I already checked and it, it looks like OEM all over again okay so um, one thing that I would do before I actually put back the headliner and all that um, weather seal uh, I would go back into my radio make sure everything works okay before you do the final install your plug might be loose your plug might not be um, installed all the way so always double check all that before you put everything back okay so hope you guys enjoyed this video GX Bob thank you for watching Thank <laughs> you.